In this video, we're going to quickly run through the names of the eight most common 3D shapes that you need to know, which we also sometimes call solid shapes. First though, we need to quickly cover how to label the different parts of 3D shapes. If you remember 2D shapes, like a square, they have corners and sides. But things are a bit different for 3D shapes, like this cube. Instead of corners, they have vertices. And if you're just looking at one, we call it a vertex. Then they also have edges, which are these lines in between the vertices, and faces, which are the flat surfaces between the edges. So if we look at our cube, this has a total of eight vertices, because it has four at the top and four at the bottom, 12 edges, because it has four at the top, four around the middle, and four at the bottom and six faces. If we move the cube over, the other 3D shapes that you need to know are the cuboid, which is like a cube, but has been stretched out because it can have rectangular faces rather than all square faces. The triangular prism, which has triangles at either end, connected together by three edges. And then the two types of pyramid, which are the triangle-based pyramid, and the square base pyramid. And they're called this because they both look like pyramids and have either a triangle or a square at the bottom. Also, one thing to point out is you might sometimes hear the triangle base pyramid being called a regular tetrahedron. But this is just a special case of a triangle based pyramid. Then the last three shapes to know are the sphere, which is like a tennis ball or a football shape the cylinder, which is like a can of Coca-Cola, and the cone, which is like an upside down ice cream cone. Before we finish, I just want to go through cylinders, spheres, and cones in a bit more detail. Specifically, how many vertices, faces, and edges they each have. If we start with the cylinder, these have no vertices, because there's no pointy corner bits. They have three faces, a flat one at the top, a curved one around the middle, and another flat one at the bottom. And then they have two circular edges, one around the top and one around the bottom. Then moving on to the sphere, this has just one single curved face that stretches around the entire shape. So it doesn't have any vertices or any edges. And lastly, the cone has just one vertex at the top, two faces, this curved one around the middle and this flat one at the bottom, and just one edge that circles around the bottom. Anyway, that's everything for this video. So if you'd like to practice questions on this topic or anything else in science or maths, then head over to our website by clicking the link in the top right corner of this screen. And otherwise, thanks for watching.